Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Let's discuss multiplying fraction and a whole number and another fraction. Let us first discuss the rules in multiplying fraction and a whole number. Okay, so what is fraction? Fraction is part of a whole. Ibig sabihin, ang fraction ay parte ng isang buo. While a whole number are numbers that can also be expressed as fraction with one as the denominator. So, we all know that fraction has two parts, the numerator and the denominator. So, take note na ang whole number ay pwede rin siyang i-express as fraction. Ang kanyang denominator lang is 1. To better understand how to multiply a fraction with a whole number, let us read and analyze the situation. Anita planned to increase her income by raising some vegetables in her backyard. The lot measured 15 meters long and 1 third meters wide. What is the area of the lot? Okay, so these are the questions that we need to answer. What is the plan of Anita? Based on the situation that we have read earlier, Anita plans to increase her income. What will she do to increase her income? She will increase her income by raising some vegetables. Then how can we solve the problem? We can solve the problem by multiplication or by multiplying fraction and a whole number. Okay, so let us now solve the problem. So the given uh, numbers are 15 and 1 third. So we're going to multiply 15 by 1 third. 15 is a whole number while 1 third is a fraction. So what is the rule in multiplying fraction with a whole number. So the first thing that we are going to do is to express the whole number as fraction. So again, paano nga natin i-express ang whole number as fraction? We're going to use 1 as the denominator. Okay, so after natin ma-express ang whole number as fraction, we can now proceed with multiplying the numerator and multiplying the denominator. Okay, so let us first multiply the numerator. So, the numerators are 15 and 1. So, 15 times 1. Then, multiply the denominators. The denominators are 1 and 3. So, 1 times 3. So, proceed na tayo sa pagmumultiply ng numerators. 15 times 1 is 15. Then, multiply the denominators. 1 times 3 is 3. Then, the last step is express the answer in lowest term if possible. Since ang 15 over 3 ay pwede pa siyang in lowest term, we, can, uh, we will get the GCF to simplify 15 over 3. In simplifying fraction, you will apply what you have learned on your previous uh, lesson which is finding the GCF using continuous division. So, to get the lowest term of 15 over 3, we have to find the GCF. So, the GCF of 15 and 3 is 3. Okay, then to get the lowest term of 15 over 3, we will divide the fraction by the GCF 3. So, 15 divided by 3 is 5. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, 5 over 1. To simplify it more, 5 divided by 1 is 5. So, whole number ang ating sagot. Again, sa definition ng ating whole number kanina, a whole number is now our, our numbers that can also be expressed as fraction by using 1 as the denominator. So, tanggalin mo lang itong 1 na denominator, ma-express na natin siya again as whole number. 
So we're done with multiplying fraction by a whole number. Let's now proceed with multiplying fraction and another fraction. So these are the rules in multiplying fraction. So first we multiply the numerator, then multiply the denominator and simplify your answer if possible. Always remember that a fraction is in its lowest term if its numerator and denominator are relatively prime. So what do you mean by prime? Uh, prime, these are numbers that has only two factors, yung sarili niya at yung 1. For example, yung 3. 3 is a prime number dahil ang factors niya lang is 1 and 3. Another prime number is 11. So, ang factors lang ng 11 is 1 and 11. So, that, uh, yan yung ibig sabihin ng prime. Okay, so, proceed tayo with the solution. So, 5 over 6 times... 2 third. So, the rule is we multiply the numerator 5 times 2, then multiply the denominator 6 times 3. So, 5 times 2 is 10, and 6 times 3 is 18. Ang 10 ay 18 ba are relatively prime? Hindi. Pwede pa natin silang ilawas term. So, divisible pa ang 10 at 18 ng 2. Dahil sila ay even numbers. So, apply nyo rin yung inyong knowledge on divisibility rules para mas mabilis kayong makapag lowest term. Okay, so let us now simplify 10 and 18. So, 10 over 18. So, what is the GCF of 10 and 18? So, apply the divisibility rules. Use continuous division to get the GCF. So, the GCF of 10 and 18 is 2. So, we will divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. So, 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 18 divided by 2 is 9. So, 5 over 9 is already uh, relatively prime. Masasabi natin relatively prime na ang fraction kung ang kanyang GCF is 1. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.